Well, has the first person to live to 1,000 years old already been born? And will there be a day when we can actually live forever? Those are some of the questions that futurist Nick Badminton aims to answer in his Dark Future series. And Nick joins me now. Nick, nice to see you. Hi. All right. Uh, how long can a human being uh, possibly live? Is it limitless? Well, you know, today it's about 82 to 84 years old. Obviously, there's some uh, exceptions, like 117, but we're talking people that you can count on one hand. Um, there are some researchers that are looking into the cells in our body and to help rejuvenate cells that have kind of stopped dividing, you know, senescent cells. So some of these uh, researchers are saying, if we can turn that around, you and I, we can live to 150, 250, and some people born today could have therapy early enough that they live on for a long, long time. Two follow-ups. First, uh, how long are we away from this? Um, this is research that's happening now. How long are we away from this? Uh, some people are really bullish on it. Some people are skeptical. I'm a little skeptical, but probably in the next 20 years, there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs in terms of making us live for a lot longer. Okay, and a bit more of a philosophical question. Yeah. Do human beings really want to live forever? Well, this is it. I mean, it comes down to a personal preference. You know, what are we going to do for work when we're 125 or 200 years old? Uh, some people are going to choose to actually like die early if that this is an inevitable outcome for them. I don't know. These are big questions. Yeah. Another big question that you tackle is uh, in the future we're going to be able to uh, download or upload our consciousness. What does yeah. that mean exactly? There's a lot of tech companies starting to look at this. You know, if you can encode the human consciousness, you can download it into into the cloud, and you could potentially put that into even avatars of who we are. So you, imagine a robot Jeff or a robot Nick, and but we can live forever in that sort of situation. All right, so that uh, would give family members a, a chance to continue to uh, somehow at least virtually interact with you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like grandma can be there for ever, ever. Your, your father. I think what's really interesting is some of the greatest minds in the world. Stephen Hawking just passed away or whatever. Imagine if we could capture all of his consciousness and have him live forever working with people ongoing. And obviously there's something very different than just having video clips of uh, somebody that's uh, passed on. That's it because they're not interactive and you can't continue the research. Yeah. Okay. And you also believe that there will be simulations uh, that will be allow us to, or simulators that will be uh, allow us to create digital twins of ourselves? Yeah, um, so digital twinning is something that happens in technology. Imagine if we could replicate who we are and maybe we could try out different relationships with different people in simulations and say, oh, actually, I don't have to do all this dating. I found this person after doing a thousand simulations. Imagine trying out jobs that you never thought that you'd like, but suddenly finding out that you've got a completely new vocation, all in the cloud and on computing and in a way that means that we're not distracted from our daily lives. You know, all of this is just so mind-blowing. As a futurist and somebody that's studies this yeah. stuff. Do you find it frightening or do you find it fascinating or a bit of both? I, I, I like to look at both sides of it. Um, obviously there is the scary world. Who, who, who's going to own our future? Um, I think that's the big question that I like to ask. All right. If you're in the Toronto area, Nick will be presenting his Dark Futures event later tonight at 50 Wellington Street. Nick Babington, Nick, great to see you as always. Thanks Good for dropping by. Thanks.